All right, Shalom Amaki. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world normally calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world normally calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And um, this lesson was inspired from reading the... Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, how the scriptures say that the Lord taketh jealousy for his armor. Let me grab that. Uh, verse 17 to be exact. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of an helmet. He shall take holiness for an invincible shield. His severe wrath shall he sharpen for a sword. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Right. And um, the reason why I'm showing brothers this clip, this Isaiah Stewart clip of him, you know, going after LeBron James after he elbows him is because it's, it's an example of how the Lord's coming, you know, no matter how many people trying to talk him down, you can't. He just has rage on his mind. You know, he just has rage on his mind. And no one nor nobody is going to get to him, you know, as you see, which um, I seen this video the first time I seen it. Somebody was saying like he going to try to run all the way around to get to LeBron, all the way around through the, through the locker room or whatever, you know, but you can just see that, you know, when that's this, this, there's certain types of anger. That once it's on a man, there's no type of talking. There's no type of uh, agreement that you could try to come with. You know, you put your hand. When I say you, I'm talking about the, the leaders of this world, these elites. They put their hands upon the apple of the most high's eye. You know, which we are spiritually the Lord's woman. Right. And the scriptures say. What's that Proverbs 6 and 31? It says, six and thirty-four. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Right? And yeah, how about Shimia was shy, as the scriptures say in um Ezekiel 9. slay utterly old and young. Right? Both maids and little children. Right? So when the Lord comes back, anybody on his shit list is going, you know, is going to get put to death. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men. That sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. The Lord's sanctuary is Israel. The scripture is saying first, uh, no, yeah, First Corinthians three and sixteen that ye are my tabernacle. All right. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. So when the Most High comes back, right, which He's already doing now. I just seen some where it says, uh, 
I think in the year 2020 alone, the most high killed 200 rappers, you know, which normally are a, is of the seed of Israel, so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, you know, and um, it's not going to stop there. Anybody that's on the little shit list, a two-third, a heathen, you know, they're going to they gonna get it. Now, we're talking about the Most High sending his only begotten son down in his anger. Right? The Most High sending his only begotten son down in his anger. Right? Along with those whom he choose to put, you know, spiritual powers upon. To get busy, right? We talking about the God of how does give us all the Father of Spirits. You know, when he gets angry, right? When he gets angry, he's gonna send his son down. All right, and his son, the scriptures even say about Yahweh Shai, he's not gonna meet thee as a man, right? Various precepts in the book of Isaiah, he said he, he shall cry as a travailing woman when he comes through. Right? He said he stomp if the wine press alone. Right? So there's no talking down Yahweh Shai. Right? When he comes back to do the Lord's just to do the Lord justice, to bring back fear upon him, to bring back that fear that the Lord the world once had. As a matter of fact, I was also reading Ezekiel 39, you know, and it speaks about how the Lord get the Lord gets so graphic, right? Ezekiel 39, Ezekiel 34, I mean Isaiah 34, Revelations 18. How he's even gonna he even tells the birds to come through and feast. Alright? And drink, you know what I'm saying, drink blood and, and feast on upon these dead bodies that the most high is gonna bring down. You know, so here it is, you got a lot of people playing games, casting doubt, you know, but it's yo. Know, when the Lord comes back, it's going to be a very scary thing, right? Daniel 12 tells us that um, it's going to be a day that the world had never seen before, right? It's going to be a day that the world has never seen before, man. It's going to be, you know, and this is why, you know, I was just thinking to myself, like, to do all I can. Me personally, if I could do more lessons, do it because... Me go to sleep tonight, and this may be it. You know, we don't know. The scriptures say, you know yourselves perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. You know, I may be mixing two, two of them up, but the scriptures say that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Right? So, yeah, it's going to get real bad out here, man. You know, it's going to get real bad. Um... Just to speak about being subject to the Father's spirits. Yeah, he was twelve. And nine. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more rather be in subject unto the Father of spirits and live? Right? So it's not time to buck up, man. Here it is. <laughs> so much judgment is going out, man. You know, but seeing is believing. You know? Hey. And this is how you know who fears the Lord, who actually served the Lord, because you have some casting doubt. You have some pushing to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to wait upon his mercy. Some pushing of, you know, build upon their own flesh. Some pushing to build upon the spirit, ask for more faith. You know? 
And the scriptures say, I was actually just reading that. Um, Psalm 16 and um, 4. I'll start at the top, actually. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my Lord. My goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, which is saints of the Israelites, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. It says that in Sirach 34 that the sacrifice of the wicked are ridiculous. So here it is, you're a two-third nigger, all right, pushing Jesus. Or, you know, you're an uh, Israelite that's pushing to uh, tote guns and not to wait on the Heavenly Father. Guess what? Your sacrifice is ridiculous. And the Most High is going to cut you off. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. Right? But your sorrows are going to be multiplied. That was really the point. Right? You know? Your sorrows are going to be multiplied. As we see, the Most High smiting it with madness of heart. Right? Speaking damnable heresies. Then the Most High is going to smite them with the edge of the sword. This is in uh, Jeremiah 16. Such as to the sword, to the sword. Such as to the famine, to the famine. Right? Proverbs 1, he said, I will laugh at your calamities because when I called, you did not answer. Right? Who is he calling through? He's calling through his prophets that you constantly shit on. Right? For thus saith the Lord, Jeremiah 16 and 3, concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that beget them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Right? So, if the Most High is saying this time and time again in the mouths of different prophets, it's got to mean that he really, he really means it. You know? Hey, Amen. So if that little willing you, I can edify. Shalom to the elect.